What's going on everybody? My name is Taylor. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys every single thing that I own. So, it's all behind that wall right there in the bedroom. Let's get right to it. I'm going to bring you in there, show you everything. And uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here is everything. Here's what everything gets stored in a backpack and into a suitcase. Now, I'm trying to talk kind of quietly because there's a lot of echo in this room. If you can see, echo. See, see, pretty cool, huh? Now, if you're wondering why my face was so lit up, it was because of this little tower light here. This is the first thing that I own. This little tower light. I actually just bought this for these YouTube videos. And you can see, nice and bright, pretty sweet. It's hooked up to a little portable battery that I, I've had this little battery for a while. Um, I actually use that for my cell phone when I'm kind of in an airport or in an area where, you know, you, you want to charge, but there's not an outlet around. Um, nowadays, there's outlets pretty much at every airport, but uh, sometimes you, you just need an extra battery, not around an outlet. So first things first, I got this jacket and you'll probably notice um, it's a big snow jacket. Uh, it's for colder areas. Right now I'm in the desert, so I've, I haven't worn this a single time because it's never been that cold. This thing has been sewn up quite a lot. I've had this jacket for a very long time, um, gotten a bunch of rips in it, and I sewed it back up with dental floss. I probably should get a new jacket, but hey, it still works, so I keep it. Second thing is I got, oh, by the way, I'm just going to kind of move. I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to kind of move my way that way. So there's no particular order. It's not like I'm going to do clothing, then shoes, then blah, blah, blah. It's, I'm just going to do whatever is in this, this kind of vicinity onward. So next thing, I got uh, this little lighter, lighter weight jacket. This thing's pretty thin, pretty thin material. It's just, you know, it, sometimes it gets cold here in the desert, uh, nighttime mainly, and I wear a thinner sweatshirt. Um, here's a mouse pad right here. I'd show you the whole mouse pad, but as you can see, this lovely lady is pretty uh, scantily clothed. So I don't know if that's gonna be safe for YouTube, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's about a foot wide by three feet long. Um, it's a nice mouse pad. Uh, if you guys, if you guys work on your laptop a lot, you you probably have some kind of mouse pad like that. I recommend mouse pads. I like them. Next thing, uh, these shoes. These are my running shoes. These are New Balance. I go on runs every other day, so as you can see, <laughs> pretty dirty. But I actually wear these shoes a lot more because uh, I like the aggressive tread on them. I go hiking every once in a while, and these are just kind of my daily wear shoes. Uh, these are Columbia shoes. Really like these shoes. I'm actually not a huge fan of these shoes. New Balance used to make a lot higher quality shoes, but nowadays it's kind of lacking on quality. I'll probably go with a different brand next time. Columbia though, Columbia's got some, some great shoes. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description below to any of these, you know, any of these products if you guys want them. Uh, I'll try to find as many as I can and put them in the description down below. No promises, but let's keep on moving on. So here we got a bunch of shorts. I got, uh, uh, this is actually a swimsuit right here, but I got four pairs of shorts and the pair of shorts that I'm wearing right now on me. Uh, then we move to underwear. Um, I wear boxers. I don't wear boxer briefs or whitey tidies or anything like that. I like boxers, especially here in the desert because you get sweaty and you really don't want a ton of clothing like attached to you. Here we go for technology wise. I got a Lenovo yoga pad. Um, I used to use this laptop all the time. This was my work laptop. I used it for pretty much everything. Uh, it was a Windows-based computer, but nowadays, <laughs> my fingers are all sweaty. Okay. Oh, I just made it worse, uh-oh. But uh, um, I've, I've since moved on to Apple products. I really like my Apple laptops. This is an 11.6 inch MacBook Air, and this is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And this is actually the computer I use most. When I'm sitting on the couch and stuff, um, this is actually the computer that I tend to uh, do my work on. I like doing uh, most of my writing work on just the small screen. It's kind of, it's, it's nifty. A lot of times I'll actually use it with, this is actually a wireless keyboard. And what I'll do is I will put this up on a table or something. And um, I will hook it to this guy, which is a wireless keyboard with a uh, trackpad. And I will actually type just using this guy with uh, that on my lap. And then this is on a table and I, so I can see the screen. But I use this for um, kind of graphic design, web design work, uh, video editing. So like this, the video I'm filming now, I'll edit it 
on this laptop. By the way, I'm, I'm filming on a cell phone. It's not an iPhone or anything. It's just a, it's one of those cheap track phones. Um, I bought it for, I think, 40 bucks with a yearly plan included. So that's pretty good. Car keys. Uh, this is a Toyota 4Runner. Got it outside. And this is a Swiss Army knife. Um, so that's my vehicle is a Toyota 4Runner. Uh, I got a wallet. Um, got three credit cards in here and my ID. And then I always carry a little bit of cash on me. I, but I just went to the laundromat and did my laundry today. So yeah, I only got five bucks left in there, I think. Five bucks. Pretty sweet. Big ball. One. And then uh, here I got another wallet. And in here I just got a bunch of credit cards and kind of like my health care card. Uh, these are two checkbooks, uh, both for different banks. Here's my passport. Um, got my chargers for my MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. And this is my cell phone charger. And then this is a little case that I hold all my passports or passport and extra wallet and checkbooks in. Over here, we got shirts, and I got a bunch of shirts. I probably have, I don't know, 10, 12 shirts in here. I didn't count, but those are just a bunch of shirts. Most of them are just, you know, your standard polyester shirt. Um, and But I do have two collared shirts in here, just in case I need to look nice for some event. I got a pair of jeans, and I got a pair of black sweats. So those are my pairs of pants, but 99% of the time, you'll find me in shorts, especially here in the desert. Uh, and I tend to travel to warmer areas. Just because I, I, I'm not a huge fan of the cold. I've been to colder areas, but I like the warmer areas. And so that's where I travel. Here's a bunch of socks. This is a pair of gloves for when I'm in colder climates. But uh, socks, for the most part, I got tons of them. Um, I used to have white socks, but they always got stained. So I recommend getting the black socks because they just, they, they just look better, in my opinion. Got a hat. Um, got another hat that I'm wearing now. You probably saw me in the intro. And this is a big old sun hat. I wear the sun hat when I'm going on hikes or when I just need to protect myself from the sun. Got some books here. Um, I got a Kindle. That's where most of my books are. But there are some books that I really, really like. And I read them quite, a, I've read them quite a few times. Uh, 10 Pills of Wealth by Alex Becker. Like that book. Good book. Uh, Alex is a big YouTuber on here if you guys have never seen him. Cool guy. Um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Unscripted by MJ DeMarco, my favorite book of all time, The Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. If you guys have never read that, I'll leave a link in the description. Awesome book. Cash advertising. Um, by the way, Millionaire Fast Lane, that is definitely a clickbait title. Uh, it should be, this is a better kind of title, Unscripted. It's, it's, it's basically a book on entrepreneurship. Not, not too much. It does show you how to become a millionaire, but it basically just, the whole book, eh, it kind of describes how you shouldn't trade your time for money, how trading your time for money is actually a lost cause and time is actually your most valuable asset. That's the main point of the book. But continuing on, got a beanie here, got laptop charger for the Lenovo right there. Got some dental stuff, you know, just in case you aren't going for a cleaning and you want to clean your teeth. Got that guy. It's got a little pick, got a little mirror, got one of those little rubber tip things. Never, I never use that. I always use, just use the pick and the mirror. Um, got a bunch of toiletries here. So if we unzip this bag, try to keep this camera as steady as possible. Just got some toothpaste, some birth control, uh, baby powder, soap, that kind of stuff. I have some shampoo and conditioner and body wash in the bathroom, but that kind of stuff is disposable. So I didn't really consider it what I own. Um, cause wherever I travel, I just get, get new cheap shampoo and body wash, that kind of stuff. Over here, I got a first aid kit. I got my lotion that I use. This is the lotion I use for uh, my face after I take a shower. Um, normally I use Cetaphil, but uh, this is Walmart's version of Cetaphil and it, I, I can't tell the difference. This is a pair of ear headphones, just when I'm listening to music and you're around people or you, know, you can't play off your speakers, just some headphones. Got a bunch of flash drives and yeah, flash cards, those kind of things, just for backing up my computer, storing files, that kind of stuff, just in case, you know, you lose everything on your computer, your computer malfunctions, you at least got a backup. Um, razor, nail clippers, batteries, and these batteries are for this guy right here. And this is a Philips Norelco little trimmer, and this is how I trim my beard. I uh, love this thing. Um, many people have different types of trimmers, but uh, I've had this for 
years, years and years and years. It actually broke. You can see it broke. Come on. Is it going to focus? No, it's not going to focus. But that's actually super glue residue because I super glued this back together. Hairbrush, deodorant, tweezers, um, a G2, Pilot G2 pen. Uh, I swear by these things. Um, Bic used to make a uh, just a little click pen that I used to use all the time, but I've switched over to these uh, Pilot G2s and I love them because someone else recommended them to me. This is a little Swiss Army knife and this one is interesting because this is actually a light right here. That has come in handy quite a bit. Toothbrush. Now this is a neti pot. And if you guys have never used neti pot, every time you're feeling sick, um, I swear by this, what I do is I take a packet of emergency, I drink that first, and then I use this neti pot, and you fill this with distilled water. Don't fill it with regular water because you may get your nose infected if you do that. But you fill this with distilled water, and then you use these little nasal salt things to kind of take the, how do I describe it? If you just use the water, distilled water, it's almost, it's like bitterness in your nose. Uh, that's probably not the right word, but it's pretty bitter. And so you'll use these little salt packets and it'll actually kind of neutralize that bitterness and it'll just flow right through your nose and you can clear everything out. I know, sounds gross, but I swear by it, I haven't gotten sick for a long time because I just, that's, that's what I swear by. I swear by using the neti pot and emergency um, right here. I'm a bit of a knife, knife nut. But I've gotten a lot rid of a lot of my collection just because a lot of states don't allow knives and knife laws are kind of iffy. So I just have your standard folding knife. This is a Benchmade 943. If you guys, knife collectors out there, probably know that brand. Good brand. Love the, love the knife. Um, this is a headlamp. Probably actually don't need this. Probably might get rid of that because I don't, I don't use it that often, to be honest. But yeah, that's... That's everything. That's everything that I own. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. It shows me you appreciate the content and consider subscribing because I'd love to have you for the long haul. I'd love to see your videos, what you got going on. And yeah, this is my life. Cool, cool. Thanks for stopping by. All right, everybody. I wish you have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye.